For those who are just starting editing, open your eyes right now and get some ideas on how to edit faster. For those who already edit frequently, agree or disagree with my suggestions. One tip to make your life easier is to select Show Duplicate Frame Markers. Uh, which you can find on your timeline under the Timeline Display Settings button. If you have already used a bit of the footage, on your timeline it will appear colored. It is very handy if you work with a lot of footage, so you accidentally won't put the same shot twice, except if you want it specifically. Sometimes it is better to disable some clips on your timeline and not delete them completely. It is easier to see replacement possibilities and change the edit later. On the other hand, I find it annoying when my timeline is not clean and there are unused files, which are confusing me. But it is still very useful when you work with graphic elements and titles and you can make one clean render, just disabling graphics and not deleting them. If you have a lot of footage and you want to follow which shots you have already used, this is the way to edit. Drag all your footage on one timeline and edit on a new one, copying and cutting files with Ctrl X, so later you see what is still left. Some people didn't suggest to do that back in the days, because computers were quite weak. But nowadays working like this with HD and even 4K footage doesn't slow down the computer. It's time for your hourly exercise routine. Yeah, I'm not joking. The best tip for any editor and a regular computer user is to take a break, stretch out and move your eyes away from the screen, even for one minute. For example, these exercises are good because you don't actually need to stand up. Another suggestion is instead of using dissolve and fade transitions from video and audio transitions bin, you can use pen tool, especially for audio. It is easier and quicker to lower audio level when, for example, you have voiceover or dialogue. You can use pen tool for both audio and video channel. You can also adjust every key point and make dissolve as smooth or sharp as you want. For those who are used to the old title template and are not the fan of the new type tool, there is an easy way to use the old legacy title. You can find it under File, New Legacy Template or just press Ctrl T. Personally, I use both. The new version is very easy for those who use Photoshop. Titles are placed like layers and you can adjust them through Essential Graphics Panel. Working through Title Tool also automatically names your text layer with the text you have written. Another mistake is that you don't adjust autosave in properties. I usually have it set to save every 5 minutes and even then I save manually very often. The frustration of lost work is too big to risk it. However, sometimes Premiere still crushes the way you can't save it and you have to do everything again. Hope you learned some new tricks, but if you have some useful tips yourself, leave them in comments. Also, part 3 will be coming soon. Now it's time you press like button and subscribe to my channel.